Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabansi. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment. I want to give you guys the first perspective on things. And I was here today. We got a pretty interesting show for you guys that we definitely want to get into. But before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, as y'all know, I'm one of the most disappointed fans out there in the NBA right now following the playoffs. My favorite player going out, man. And this thing is just making me begin to realize, man, you need, you need to just don't root for anybody. Seriously, don't root for anybody. I need to take the Charles Barkley approach. Just don't root for anybody. If you're going to root, just half-ass root. Like, root, but if they don't do well, then it shouldn't have no effect on you whatsoever. Seriously, because I'm like, uh, it's not worth it at this point. But anyway, um, I was one of the people that was kind of really high on the Clippers coming into the playoffs, but we know what has happened since then, right? Kawhi Leonard has now missed two consecutive games. The last report that I got on Kawhi is that Kawhi Leonard now is has no timetable to return, which means that he's most likely not coming back, which means that whatever injury he suffered was a season-ending injury, or maybe the Clippers are just low-managing him for next year. I don't know what the hell is going on because we don't have any information, but I don't know. Anyway, I was doing some research this morning, and I came across an article, or really, uh, excuse me, an audio that was highlighting some comments that Draymond Green had to make about the Clippers scheduling. Now, why is this important? Well, a lot of people have been complaining about the Clippers scheduling, including the Clippers. The, the Los Angeles Clippers have been complaining to the NBA because they've been playing games every other day. And the Clippers organization are livid over this. And Paul George, as a matter of fact, on his podcast, even alluded to this once where he said that, you know, the NBA constantly screws us when it comes to the playoffs and our scheduling. They constantly do it. Well, this morning I came across this audio here from Draymond Green where he basically shed some light and essentially explained why. The NBA is doing this, and he essentially is saying that the reason the Clippers have such a messed up schedule is due to the Lakers. But before we get into his comments, this video is brought to you by Sponsor Aura, who's also the official sponsor of the t -Wolves. Do you know what the fastest growing crime in America is today? It's identity theft. Imagine trying to log into your email only to see that your password has been changed. Then you start getting weird notifications from your bank and credit cards only to find out that all of your personal and sensitive information has been totally compromised. If you think it can happen to you and your family, just know that in 2020, over 49 million Americans were victims to identity theft, costing them a combined $56 billion. That is why we are excited to partner with Aura, who is the sponsor of this video. Aura is the number one identity theft and financial fraud protection. Aura monitors the dark web and alerts you if any of your passwords and accounts have been breached. And funny enough, after using Aura, I discovered some of my credentials were floating around in the dark web and the app showed me exactly when and where the breach happened in addition Aura allows you to set spending alerts and they'll notify you of any suspicious transactions. Aura is four times faster than any of its competitors in alerting you if someone is trying to open a credit card or obtain a loan using your name. And remember this, every 14 seconds someone becomes a victim of identity fraud. Don't let it happen to you. Now click the link in the description and try Aura for free for two weeks and see if any of you or your family's personal information has been compromised. Start your free trial at Aura.com slash Dreamers Pro and when you try Aura, by using the link in the description below. Also know that you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So what we want to do is we want to play exactly what Draymond Green had to say. It's not long. It's only about less than a minute. Uh, and then we're going to come back and react to this comments. Take a listen to what Draymond Green had to say here. The Lakers screwed the Clippers. How? What are you talking about, Draymond? Because the Lakers getting in, LeBron James is in. LeBron James is always going to be marquee game. Steph Curry is always going to be a marquee game. So in turn, the Clippers, you end up playing every other day and you got Kawhi Leonard playing 40 minutes. I saw a statement where Kawhi played 42 minutes and Ty Lue said, this is what we've been preparing for. For him to be able to play 42 minutes right now and then he's out for game three sucks because he's dominating. He's having an incredible series and then have to miss game three. If there's two days in between, so you say game, call it yesterday, it's Thursday, and then game Sunday, it's totally different. But what you have to understand is all of that stuff is based on a TV schedule. TV slots matter. So LeBron gets the TV slot. Steph Curry gets the TV slot. The Clippers were on NBA TV last night, but they've been playing every other day. They play yesterday, they play tomorrow. It's been tough. Changes everything. Changes the series. So you heard Draymond's comments. Hear my thoughts. First of all, I was unaware that it was a scheduling issue in terms of ensuring that the biggest draw is on television. In this case, ensuring that Stephen Curry on these televised games, and excuse me, ensuring that LeBron James on these televised games. Now, 
if that's the case, I understand that these teams have very large fan bases, especially the Lakers. Lakers have fans even on Mars, right? Very huge, very huge fan base. I remember being a Kobe Bryant fan and watching Kobe throughout his basically his entire career. And I remember Kobe, especially in the second half of that uh, his stint with the Lakers after he changed his number. Everywhere Kobe and these guys went, you saw Laker jerseys in all in in in, in the stands, at visiting at visiting arenas everywhere, everywhere there were Laker, literally everywhere. There were Laker fans. So there are a lot of Laker fans. Maybe the, maybe the NBA is, is looking at it from a TV perspective, from a numbers perspective. Like, okay, well, there are more people. So chances are we want to put out these guys because we're going to get more viewers just because they're more fans of this team. Makes perfect sense. Um, I also believe what, why Draymond Green is saying. I, I also believe the other reason this is true is because the same thing happened uh, in the playoffs in 2021 when the Lakers made it to the playoffs. The Clippers played um, a game every other night until they were knocked out of the playoffs. There was no point in which they had two more than two days in a row of rest. Now, obviously, they played a lot of series deep into a lot of series. I think round one, they won seven games. Round two, they won six games. Round three, they won six games. But they had no more than two days, uh, no more than a day of rest. In this particular instant, um, the, the last game the Clippers played, if I'm not mistaken, was on Saturday. Which means that, and their next game, excuse me, is on Tuesday. Which means that this is the first time this series that... The Clippers are going to have two consecutive days off, if I'm not mistaken. Now, Draymond Green then said something else, which was he was talking about Kawhi Leonard's minutes, playing 40 minutes a night, and then you see that happen. I'm going to part ways with him at that particular point. Why? Because it's an easy out for load management. It's an e- it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a it's a it's a way to kind of let load management off the hook, and I'm not going for it. Load management states. Our goal is to preserve players' health and ensure that they are available when you need them the most. Low management's manifesto basically says that we'll rest you and ensure that you're 100% healthy leading into the playoffs to play heavy minutes. They load managed Kawhi Leonard for the entire season. He missed 30 games, gets to the playoffs, plays, what, 40 minutes, and he had played 40 minutes before that, I believe, um, some games, some, some of those playing tournament, no, no games in order to avoid a playing tournament. He plays one game, plays 40 plus minutes, obviously at a higher intensity and he injures himself and he's gone. Now, how much of that can we blame on the scheduling? Because that injury occurred in game one. It wasn't like as if it occurred in round two and they played like what? I don't know. Eight games already. It occurred in game one. So two things can be true. Number one. I believe that Draymond is 100% on the money in terms of the scheduling because I even saw this back in the 2021 playoffs. But the other thing could also be true is that Kawhi's injury prone and load management did not work. If the guy got injured in game one, how can you blame it on the schedule? You see what I mean? How can you blame it on the schedule? Or are you telling me that Kawhi needs to be able to play 40 minutes in game one, right? Then take off two days and then play 40 minutes in game two. Well, let's follow that logic. If that's the case, he's missed, what, four or five days now in a row? Shouldn't he be back? It means that he had a he most likely had a season end, seizing, season ending injury after one game. And that, my friends, you cannot blame on the scheduling. You cannot blame it on the scheduling. So that's why I part ways with Draymond. But nevertheless, I think he gave some very valuable information in terms of looking at it from a monetary standpoint in terms of how the NBA approaches this thing. So these are my thoughts and opinions. What I want to know from you guys is simply this. What do you think about what Draymond had to say? What do you think about some of the points I made? Whatever you guys think, leave your thoughts in the comment section. We catch you on the next show.